Our top story at 5.30, more fallout from the governor's decision to scrap the current plan for high-speed rail between the Bay Area and Los Angeles. Gavin Newsom says it would cost too much and take too long to build. He wants to focus on finishing the Merced to Bakersfield segment instead. The governor also had a laundry list of priorities in his State of the State speech. Within 60 days, Newsom says he'll have a plan ready to handle PG&E's bankruptcy. He also wants to inject funds that would go towards fixing the housing crisis and speed up construction of new housing. The governor also calling for expanding medical coverage for all people under the age of 26, regardless of their immigration status. Next, Phil Matier joins us now to weigh in on high-speed rail. And Phil, the idea here was always to connect Central Valley commuters to the Bay Area, but now this is all put into question. Exactly. I mean, originally it was to connect San Francisco all the way down to Los Angeles, but the idea of bringing it to San Jose, well, that seems to be starting and stopping in the Central Valley for now. At least billions more in dollars, either from the public or private sector, can be found, and that's not going to be easy because there's just not a lot of money to be made between Bakersfield and Merced. So what's Newsom doing here? He's basically scaling back. He's buying time to try to save money and hopefully get more money to get it going again. But for right now, he's got other issues, a lot more interesting and a lot more immediate. For example, PG&E, all right, and the whole question of fire safety as we move on. PG&E is on the verge of declaring bankruptcy, in part because of billions of dollars in losses for the Paradise fires and other Northern California fires. And he's told people both publicly and privately he wants the victims of those fires to be at the front of the line when PG&E starts paying back its loans. That's not going to be easy, and that's why he's got those 60 days and that special group looking at it. It's not going to be an easy one, but politically, he knows that unless the victims of the fire get paid back, PG&E isn't going to get any bailout anytime soon either. Mm. Now, the governor also has plans for affordable housing. Yeah, and, and he talked about cutting the red tape for that, but there's something known as CEQA. The environmentalists aren't going to be too happy about all of that. They aren't, but while he's cutting the red tape, don't also forget that there's a lot of people out there that aren't interested in affordable housing, at least in their neighborhoods, whether it means denser apartment buildings in the cities or big apartment buildings in the suburbs. Even with the environmental cut of the red tape, there's still mm. political resistance, and as we know in the Bay Area, that can stop housing faster than anything. But you know, it's also interesting while he's talking about housing, we also talked about, well, you know, we've talked about the digital divide. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, he's starting to talk about a digital dividend for those of us that use the uh, internet. And let's have a listen to what he's talking about. California consumers should also be able to share in the wealth that is created from their data. So I've asked my team to develop a proposal for a new data dividend for Californians. Because we recognize your data has value and it belongs to you. We can do something bold in this space. Well, that sent a few chills down the spine of the <laughs> Googles and Valley. the Facebooks yeah. that are making billions of dollars of personal Absolutely. information from all, us and everybody else. Oh. The idea that that's going to come back through a tax or some other kind of space, well, that's going to get interesting. Uh, didn't you talk about a water tax? About clean, clean water, water, possibly. We're all chipping in to help the Central Valley get clean water. For, uh, uh, again, money, money, money. I feel, you know, I wanted to ask you more yeah. about high-speed rail because he's going to finish the line between Bakersfield and Merced, which Amtrak already services. So does that show you that, that this may actually... Uh, be finished at some point in history? Yes. In the, the reason future? it's going to get finished, Veronica, is very simple. They have the money, and you either spend it or you give it back. He doesn't want to give it back. <laughs> he's he said, give it back. Give it back. So he's going to spend it. People are going to have jobs. After it opens, we'll see. All right. Yeah. Phil Mater, we always appreciate it. Thank, Thank you.